Hello, Star Munchers. Max here, back playing a Horus. Um, in the last episode, we got a key card that took us down beneath the church, and now we set off an alarm, which is fun. Something caught my eye. It was a small yellow sphere. The book next to it explained that it was a shield that would automatically take a hit for me when activated. The Y button took the shield in and out of storage, meaning I could save it for when the going got tough. It seemed that I started with two slots to carry shields, but I could upgrade to be able to carry more. Oh, okay. If both I and the shield died in the same room, the Lazarus chip would bring us both back. It's almost as if the shield needed its sacrifice to mean something. It felt like a true friend, proving that even the simplest of faces can bring out an emotional reaction. Interesting. So I'm assuming... We're gonna need that to get through this, right? Or can we? Okay, we can literally just do that. We just gotta be careful. Just gotta be patient as well. Because when it comes to these sorts of quick events, I'm real bad about that. Oh, right, hold on. Okay. Oh, we do have two shields. Oh, that was a shield thing. How many can we have at a time? Just two. Well, that alarm's not gonna get annoying. Man, there's a lot of just random electrical activity in this game, huh? Alright, we'll wait until that goes back the other way. And we'll jump. Walk around. So this is where we're definitely gonna need a shield to work for us, because I don't think I don't think we can jump that gap, can we? Actually we might. We might be able to. Just gotta wait till we have clearance. And jump. There we go. Alright, we're good. Careful. Those platforms don't look... Okay, they're timed. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, there's a shield gone. Jump. Walk around this way and jump. No shields. Okay, that's not great. Okay, I see what we need to do. We'll wait again for another cycle. Jump straight up. Get that cog and then... Nope. Okay, that hurts. Alright, I figured out what this, this level is. This area is very secure. I'll give them that. Okay, got this stuff. Got you. Miss anything? Well, I guess we can check real quick. Nope, we got it all. Sweet. Oh, there's a lot Something of junk. Literally caught my eye. I remembered the old man had installed some software that helped show me things that were interactive, and how to interact with them. This must be what he was talking about.
the electron gun blew the power. I needed to turn it back on before I could fire again. Okay, so just the interactive, like, blue things around them? Uh-oh. Oh, a boss. Okay, I see. I see. Gotta reload it. Fire again. Okay, careful. Might as well reload that while we're here. Back this way, and fire. K-Bot. K-Bot 100. Alright, let's grab that junk real quick. This seemed quite valuable. That was fun. It taught you that right before you went in here. That was cool. Give me that shield. Thank you. The video recorder's blinking light caught my eye. It must have been years since I had seen a film or TV show. Maybe I could take a little break from my quest and watch the film on the tape. As the video started, I was surprised to see the old man. Hello, hello. He bellowed in his familiar tone, this is test number, um, 107C. He continued as he read from a clipboard. This unit still has three major issues. 1. The shell is so incredibly thick that the whole machine is still far too large and heavy. Two, oh. The missile system is too unpredictable and aggressive. And 3. The trade-off between power and intelligence is far too great. I think the military capabilities would be far too dangerous in the wrong hands. I think we would be best to push forward with the Innocence Project. I didn't really understand a word of what he said, and I was slightly disappointed that he had recorded over the film, but it was nice to see the old man's face again. Okay, so yeah, the old man was definitely developing robots for the military. Obviously, and the Innocence Project. I wasn't sure what was going on, but suddenly inanimate objects started to come to life. Uh oh. Okay. All right. So the old man was developing robots for the military, and then something happened that greenlit the project for the model of robot that I am. All very strange. Because obviously the Innocence Project would be like to come up with a robot that was like good. But I still don't know. There's still a lot of plot going on clearly that I, I don't know. Rock baits, uh, beat scissors. So that makes sense. Whoops, that was a dumb waste. Why in the world is everything alive? Yeah, we can't even get the scrap, so we must have to get a total number of scrap, but it's not like we're going to be able to clear every area. At least that's what I think so far. Because some of this stuff seems like you can't really get it anymore after a certain point.
Okay, hold on. Let's backtrack a second. Oh boy. This looks dangerous. Hold on, let's grab this shield. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, thanks, game. Appreciate it. Okay, jump. You gotta jump. You gotta jump. Okay, that goes way too fast. Oop, okay, we made it. Oh, boy. This is trippy. Okay, at least it starts me here. It's okay. It's all right. Everything's fine. Okay, nope. <laughs> all right, come on. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Just don't panic. Don't panic. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. So... How in the world does one do this without dying? Okay, clearly I'm missing something. Okay, besides the chain. All right, up, grab, grab, jump, grab, jump, jump, let go. There we go. Why would we need that? We got scrap out of it, but we also die, right? Oh. It's disorienting when the camera flips like that. Okay. We need something to kill that hammer I with. Die picking that up. Okay. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That is so extremely rude. Ah. Oh. need a shield. That's good. I need a way to kill that hammer. I pulled something out of the thing. Okay. Up and over. Through. Okay. Get me the heck out of this place. Ah, goodness. Okay. This also looks extremely dangerous. Whoops. Okay, give me that. What? Okay. Through. Whoops. Okay, don't die. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh. Are there electrical things on the bottom of that elevator for some reason? Who would design such a thing? Why would you do this? Nope. Okay, there we go. Grab the stuff, leave the room. Oh no. Oh, well, okay. That was a mistake. Whoa, okay. So. That's interesting. How do they expect me to do this? 
use the washing machine thing. Aha! There we go. Kind of stinks I can't get that second life. Ugh. Wait, I can. Hold on. If I backtrack, I can grab it. Totally worth it. There we go. Okay. There we go. Please tell me we're near the end of this section. Oh, boy. Oh, okay, there's electricity there. That's bad. I didn't even notice that. Okay. Okay, that's happening. Okay. Okay, so that hurt. Oh, I see. We gotta get more of these. Ah, okay. Okay, so we need to fall straight down. Whoops. Nope, hold on. Go back. Jump. Little jump. Straight down. Grab all the trash. That's a problem. Wait. Okay, at least all this stuff doesn't respawn, like the basketball thing. That would be worse. Did we get whatever there was over here? I don't think there is anything over here. I think that just gets us back here. Okay. Alright, let's go the other way. Get what's over here. I think it might be just reversed. See our objective. It's just over there. And down an X. What did that accomplish for us? Was it just to get to this door? junk, I guess. This is a dangerous area. Like, I mean, I know, like, duh, but goodness. This definitely seems like an area that, like, you'd go to when you're desperate for more scrap or for more stuff to clean. It is dangerous out here. Goodness. Whoops. Okay, how far back does it start me? Okay. Decently far. Definitely got to be careful about this. Especially since we don't have any extra lives currently. Oh, well, ah, doggone it, I hit the button again. That button's to let go. The jump button is what lets go. You have to tap the up arrow key to grab onto stuff. Not that difficult, just... Okay, jump, jump.
Mm. Is there any, even anything over there I need? Oops. Misclick. <laughs> My fingers are starting to hurt from holding down the sprint key and the jump button over here on the side. It's been a long time since I played a game that you could basically, you can play, like, without a mouse. There's just so much visual stimuli to look at. Alright, there we go. Give me the heck out of this place. This place is a nightmare. Who designed this place? That doesn't look right. Who the heck bought all these magical knives? Gotta get that last piece of garbage. <sighs> Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Definitely stuff I'm missing, but I really don't care. I'll get as much stuff as I can, but I don't think I care too much about getting everything at the moment. Just because I don't think it's possible, one. And two, I don't think it's worth my time, per se. At the moment. I'm sure I'll have to double back and get a bunch of extra stuff. Batteries come in all the shapes and sizes. Okay, interesting. Oh boy, gravity's gonna be a problem there. Okay. Can we throw you? How do I drop you? Maybe... I have no idea. Because I can't drop this thing now anymore either. Do I have to get momentum? Momentum worked for some reason? Why? Oh, to like give me extra height? That's wild and disorienting. Okay. <laughs> Guess that's the solution. I'll take it. I ain't complaining. Elevator number one damaged. Wonder if it was all this electricity everywhere. Oh boy. That can't have, oh boy. That's horrifying. dip me in the water. Gotta collect all this scrap first. Aha! That's why we needed to go up here. It's for this. Whoops, hold on. Nope. Oh. Oh, I see. Get me the heck out of here. Nope. 
seeing that now that you'll see how made we wonder if there were any more recordings of the I'll old bet man. you there are damage behind the TV and was not surprised to find two more dusty old tapes one just had hours of some strange sport but the other had a recording of the old man hello hello came his voice again right this is urgent cancel the nanobot program immediately all production to be stopped contain the remaining units in these corrosion proof canisters <laughs> corrosion proof I'm sure it's obvious the old man continued we have discovered that they are essentially unstoppable and can form a controlling intelligence around any object oh that's why the stuff So that's why all the stuff is moving, because there's nanobots are on them? Well, at least that explains why everything moved with minds of their own. I'd never been in this part of the house before, but I figured I would get back to more familiar surroundings once I made it through these laboratories. I hope we get out of here soon, too. This area is mean. Oh, that's a lot of junk we could get. Oh, wait, I know how we do it. We just stand like this. Oh, well, okay. We can for a bit. Then right there at the end, things get a little dodge. That's bad. That is not what I wanted to happen. Um, jump. There we go. There we go. Now we just wait for the elevator again. Ride it back up. Let's get out of this lab. Oh, whoops. Still not quite used to the gravity thing. I know I should be by this point, probably. There we go. Oh, I didn't even see what I was doing. My mistake. Hold on. Probably shouldn't be throwing all the junk right into the lasers, huh? Probably not. All right, second life, I will take that. Yeah, but stuff like this, I don't think I can, uh, I definitely can't get any of that stuff yet, so let's leave. Okay, I recognize this room. Whoops, oh, come on, we can do better. Come on. There we go. Destroy the human aid. The humanoid. What is going on? This isn't another boss fight already, is it? Uh, apparently it is. Okay, this is scary. Assuming we can't touch that. So how do we hurt you? Can we hop aboard? Ah, I see.
Oh boy. Do we restart the entire fight when that happens? I really hope we don't, because that's going to be real rough. Not safe. Okay. Goodness. Goodness. <laughs> this this boss fights a lot of things. Okay, how am I supposed to dodge those? Is that? Maybe don't stand directly over the vat of fire. Got it. Okay, duck. Okay, duck. Okay, definitely not safe. Okay, then get off of those. Okay, got it. Okay, all right. that. Careful. Jump. Dunk on it. I don't know how far back it's resetting because there's no, like, health meter. Okay. Okay, so apparently the nanobot boss is dead. Get me out of here. Okay, can't go back in there. Trying to decide what a good stopping point would be. I was hoping to get into like a safer area. But I don't know if and when that's going to happen. This section's interesting. Get me out of here. Dang it! Are you kidding me? I was so close. life. Just don't die twice and we'll be fine. That's one. And get me out. Well, there's still a lot of stuff to clean, that's one thing for sure. Please be an extra life. So, how does one do this? Okay, 
away. Okay, well, that was immediate death. Hold on. This way. And we gotta time this. Nope, never mind. Wait till both of them come back. Fall straight down. Okay, straight into the death. Got it. Okay, we're good there. Walk around. Alright, get me out of here. What in the world? I just want a nice peaceful area to end the, the episode, and you're giving me a bunch of flaming stuff? My shoes struggled to grip the slippery wall. I'd need to keep jumping to climb it. Okay. Oh, I, I actually prefer this, I think. Okay, ouch. Okay, where am I going? Just gotta watch out for the magic shoes. So, okay, never mind. It just takes 40 tries. I can do it like 40 tries. Oh, gee, thanks, game. Thanks for, like, your equivalent of, like, a mercy rule in baseball. Okay, well, there's, there it is. There it goes. this up and you messed it up at the worst possible moment I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it and it's gonna be great I actually do prefer the wall jump, I think, more than, like, the camera out spinning around, to be honest. But that's just because I'm more used to that feature than the camera rotating around. Okay. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. There's a learning curve with every game. Sometimes you just gotta suck it up. There we go. Get me out. Oh, thank goodness. No, no, chuckled Mr. Silkton. It's all right. We'll claim it on the insurance as accidental damage. Get me a new TV as well. I explained to them that I had found some of the old man's home video, and the contents had shocked me. The dirty old bugger, interrupted Mr. Sitton. But I didn't know what he meant. So I continued explaining about the nanobox, and Mr. Silton said we needed to get our sharpest minds on the case. Not you dipshit, he barked at Mr. Preston, we need to rescue Heather and her mum. I wasn't sure what Mr. Silton meant by rescue, but I thought I would leave them to clear up. The weather felt cold and ominous as we made our way back outside. Before we meet the others, I need you to help me get my stolen van back, explained Mr. Silton. It's going to be dangerous, and we need someone expend, uh, dependable. The equipment was heavy, but I was happy to help pack the large boxes until Preston returned with what Mr. Silton called the mean machine. A milk truck. Hey, you know what? If it works, it works. 
All we are is dust and shadow. Quintus Horatius Placus. Mr. Silton's van. We will get to chapter five Mr. in the next Placus episode after this finishes. Than usual. At first I thought he just needed to use a toilet. But Mr. Silton explained that their old gang members lived around here. Somehow the money went missing when we robbed that post office, he continued. For some reason they thought they'd taken it, but, as he put it, why would we live in such a dumb if we had a load of money? Although this clarified things for me, it certainly didn't calm Mr. Preston, who suggested we gotta move on. Don't worry, we'll be a matter of minutes. We just need to send Mr. Chips up there to have a look, said Mr. Silton as he pointed to a window high up the building. Go on, he said with a smile, off you go then. Uh, we will do this next time, but I need to end the episode. I've been going for a bit, so I'm going to call it there. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.